Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, my 2014 Wrangler JKU. I picked up this PML NAG1 transmission cover because I recently changed transmission fluid, oil, and filter. And then a couple of months afterwards, the transmission just started puking out oil. Now the problem with the factory drain pans is that the pan is bolted on by clips. And if you over torque them, the pan gets bent and then starts to leak. So to avoid that situation... I picked up this aftermarket oil pan that uses bolts to screw into the bottom of the transmission. It has a gasket, so I no longer am going to be suffering that issue where I park the Jeep and then next morning I come outside and there's a lake of transmission fluid on the ground. So underneath, on the passenger side, behind this cover is where your electrical harness goes into the transmission and that's another leak that's actually very common on these transmissions it's on the passenger side but i'm gonna go about i'm gonna loosen top two in the middle get my oil pan put it underneath and i'm gonna use the vacuum sucker to suck out whatever i can what i'm gonna use is my midi vac it works awesome for sucking out fluid and what you have to do is stick it into your transmission dipstick tube and feed it down as far as you can and then hook it up to an air supply and it starts sucking out the fluid. And I could get about three and a half liters pulled out. So my pro tip, before we remove that corner bolt on the pan, remove this one first. <clears throat> Because they're all kind of joined together. So you can see that back corner one, and that's where this tool comes in handy. I'll get my fat hand out of the way. It's too tight in there to get the camera in there, but you can get in there with that. This will lower that pan down enough. Perfect. I can get the evac in there and suck out the rest. It'll suck in the rest of it out. So the kit does come with a cork gasket. I am not a fan of cork gaskets myself. So I got is some gasket paper that I'm going to trace out a gasket and cut it out. So back to this, I created my own gasket. I'm gonna use some right stuff and very gently put a thin layer on to kind of hold this gasket down like glue. They put another thin layer on top. Try to get up there, maybe you can see, but <clears throat> there's one mount right there, and then another one right there that already got loose. So I'm gonna put the impact on this one, get that one loosened off, and then raise that up. Theoretically. Well, I test fitted it. I wasn't sure. It'll definitely fit. I definitely want to put enough on. I can create a seal that when I'm installing, 
I don't have to worry about that gasket lifting up. I can take my gasket and then squeeze it on there. So now I just put the transmission pan on a table with a weight and that's going to compress it and let the right stuff set up so that the gasket doesn't tear or move because it's a tight spot when I install it. That's looking really good. Feeling really positive about that. I just went along with my blade and I trimmed everything off the outside. So now I'm ready to go underneath, put a light dab of silicone around it and then put her up and tighten her down. And this theoretically should solve our issue with it leaking. I just gotta remember to put that drain plug in. Otherwise, things just might not end well. That's the most important thing. Drain plug. Make sure it has its copper washer on there. Now, I just got this electrical cover all right i can lower this down now perfect and then tighten up the bolts on each side There we have it, new pans all put in, bolted down. Guess it's the moment of truth now, where I put oil in it and uh, see if there's any leaks. It's also probably good that I'm doing this again as well because when that oil came out, even though it was clean, it still had kind of a a rancid smell to it. I mean, given that could have just been the after effects in there as well. That's two. Three liters should easily get me into that transmission pan. All right. This will be four liters. Let's get the old girl started up. So far so good. No leaks yet. So we're going to talk about the oil pan here and what goes wrong. There's numerous things that are factors that could have made mine leak. Like I said before, I start to have seepage, I tighten it down. What the problem is, is that you can see this set up here. It's just like a clip and a clip just clips on the side and bolts down. But if you over tighten it, you could actually distort this metal, which would cause it to leak. Not only that, using an aftermarket gasket that may not be within tolerance, probably a little bit on the small side, you don't know. Could also be the reason why it leaked. I mean, these things, well, obviously it's proven. The original setup did not leak. I put an aftermarket one in. I probably over torqued it, which caused it to leak. Fix that problem with a new transmission pan that has a drain plug and actual bolts. 
and I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to end the video here. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll see you guys in the next one.